Ads and AI overviews is a very hot topic right now. We're getting tons of questions about how they're going to impact advertising. And in fairness, it could have a pretty big impact around how ads run in the future. So in this video, we want to talk about how ads are going to show either alongside or within AI overviews and discuss which settings in your Google Ads account will determine where you show up. I want to start off this video by making a distinction between two different types of AI engagements you can have on a Google results page. First, I just went to Google and typed in leaking roof because I wanted to try to get something to show up. If I scroll down a little bit, this is going to be an AI overview. It is built into the search results. You could see that there were ads above it. There's going to be organic listings below it, but this is what we're going to call an AI overview. You can then open it up. You can see different pieces of information. You can see some of the sources that it used to compile this information. And then if we keep scrolling down, there's going to be all sorts of things. You can also dive deeper in AI mode. But the biggest thing to know is that AI overviews live in the regular search results. If I go all the way back up to the top, you can see here that under the highest level of navigation here, I can also click AI mode here as well. And if I do that, it takes me to a page that looks like this. We still have the query that we've got up at the top, but then there's a different set of information, even though a lot of it is foundationally the same. The links over here off to the right are still the ones that it used to compile the information. You can scroll all the way through here. But one thing that you didn't see is anything outside of the AI answer. There's no organic listings. There's no ads that show up anywhere right now. And then the next step that Google is trying to get you to do is to ask another question. They give some suggestions about whether you want to understand more about adding a tarp, understanding the typical signs between a plumbing leak and a roof leak. Very interesting. But then also, how can I find a good roofing contractor near me? I wanted to call out this distinction at the very beginning here, because what this video is going to talk about is not AI mode. In the future, we plan on covering ads in AI mode, but those are still a little bit too new, a little too fresh. Instead, what we want to focus on are ads and how they relate to the AI overview that you see in the regular results, because there are a few things that you're going to need to know about that. And the first is that there are two categorizations of how your ads can show when there is an AI overview. The first is going to be what we've seen here, ads that can show either above or in some cases below the AI overview in the search results. Here you can see that they've got the sponsored business listings at the top. There's a regular text ad with a bunch of site links that shows up here, but nothing is actually in the AI overview. It's just showing up alongside the overview. But the second place that ads can show with an AI overview is actually in the overview. Now, not for lack of trying, but I could not get a single ad in an AI overview to trigger on an actual Google result page for me. I'm sorry I can't give you a good visual about what this will be, but from what I understand and what I think I've heard other places, ads in the AI overview are likely going to be some form of ad format over here on the right. They also could show up at the bottom of an AI overview down here where it says right now, dive deeper in AI mode. I don't think that that call to action will go away, but I wouldn't be surprised if you see some different ads show up in that section down below, effectively being the side rail and the bottom portion of AI overviews rather than the overall Google results page. Now, each of these different placements, whether it's outside of the AI overview or in the AI overview, might not feel like it's too big of a difference for the most part, but there are different requirements to show in each of the different places. Let's first cover the one that we already saw, ads above and below the AI overview. In about 200 markets across the world, ads are already eligible to show above and below the AI overviews that we have. They're going to still follow all the existing auction rankings and signals, and any existing text, shopping, local, or app ads in search, shopping, performance max, and app campaigns are eligible to show around AI overviews wherever those overviews are available. So the long and short of it is you don't have to do anything special or opt into or create any different type of campaigns to show up above or below AI overviews. All of the different search auctions, whether you run your ad through search, performance max, shopping campaigns, any of those are already going to show around the AI overviews when they populate in the search results page. Ads in AI overviews are going to be a little bit different. They're only available in English in the US 
on mobile and desktop, but they do plan to expand to other English-speaking countries soon. So unfortunately, any country not using English is going to be a little bit further down the release list, but eventually they'll definitely make their way worldwide in all locations. I'm very confident of that. Now the ads in AI overviews also have some different criteria and different ads can show there. So rather than just taking the user query into account, they also take into account the actual content that is going to be served in the AI overview. So it's not only based on user queries or matching to your keywords, but it also ends up focusing on what the answer is. So if you're relevant to the answer, even if the query isn't matching to any of your search keywords, you might be eligible to show up in AI overviews. Search, shopping, and performance max campaigns are eligible to show in AI overviews, but there are some limitations. First, there's nothing for sensitive verticals like alcohol or gambling, any of that sort of thing. So that needs to be ruled out right away. But then the biggest piece and the biggest limitation is going to come in the types of campaign settings you have to use. So I'm gonna scroll down to the next section. And when looking at best practices for ads and AI overview, there's one sentence at the end of this first paragraph that gives away how you have to have things set up. Google requires AI powered targeting solutions like broad match or keywordless targeting like performance max or AI max for search or dynamic search ads to show up in AI overviews. So the long and the short of it is if you're not using broad match keywords, performance max campaigns, AI max for search or dynamic search ads, your ads will not be eligible to appear in an AI overview. If you're still using phrase match and exact match keywords, you'll be eligible to show around the AI overviews like we talked about, but you will not be eligible to show in them. So if you're using any of these AI powered targeting solutions from Google, you're at least going to be eligible to show in the AI overviews, but there's a little bit more that might need to happen for you to be able to actually show your ad. And this one's gonna be outside of your control. In the how ads in AI overviews work section, Google says that AI overviews trigger for queries that are generally no one right answer types of queries. They tend to be more complex and users need a little bit more helpful information rather than just a single answer. But then again, we see here that ads can trigger on a subset of those AI overview queries in the AI overview, but likely if there is commercial intent detected and Google can show that the ad is high quality and relevant to the user's query and the information that is gonna show in the AI overview, so in the answer itself. So overall, that's a pretty basic set of criteria for you to meet to be able to show up around AI overviews because basically you just have to be advertising on search. But even within AI overviews, it's a relatively basic set of parameters. But even on top of that, I don't know if this is going to be a great end goal for anybody to have. And that mostly comes down to what the expected performance is. These four different types of keywordless targeting or AI powered targeting from Google ads are the criteria you have to use for your ads to show up within the AI overviews. Now, like I said at the beginning, yes, AI overviews, AI mode, any of those different variants of it will likely have a long-term impact on how our ads are being shown. But my opinion, at least as of right now, is that if broad match, performance max, AI max for search, or dynamic search ads aren't a good fit for your business because they don't perform well now, it probably doesn't make sense to force yourself into being able to use them just to show up within the AI overviews. I would encourage you to hammer down the strategies with your phrase and exact match terms that can show around AI overviews, whether above or below it, and then maybe start to slowly test some of the AI powered features in a much smaller capacity in your account to see if you can optimize them into being able to work well for you rather than automatically shifting over. Performance Max currently has a campaign experiment option within Google Ads, so does broad match targeting, and AI Max for search is going to be coming out soon. Dynamic search ads, don't know if there's exactly a campaign experiment for you to roll out for that, but you could easily set up a campaign, give it a low budget, see how it performs. Overall, I think it's always important to stay up to date in what's changing in Google's ad offerings, but also to be weary of automatically opting into anything new that it rolls out. Regardless if it's the newest, shiniest thing, the only part that's gonna matter is if it makes sense and performs well for your business. So hopefully this overview has given you an idea of how AI overviews work, how your ads can show around them or within them, and whether or not you should try and get those to work in your account. If you have any additional questions about AI overviews or anything else in the Google Ads experience, let us know in the comments below.
Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the Super Thanks button.